Once you've created courses on your Lifter LMS website, you might want to set up a payment gateway to be able to sell courses and memberships and sell access to your website. In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can set up a payment gateway with Lifter LMS. We're going to talk over some of the basics and what's involved with accepting payments on your Lifter LMS website. Let's dive into it. So here I am on the front end of my website. I'm going to jump over to the WordPress admin and go over to courses and let's take a look at our access plan system on this course and make sure access plans are created. Yep, there we go. So I have two access plans, a la carte for $500 and then a free with membership. I just wanted to make sure that I had at least one access plan set up so we could take a look in this tutorial. If I were to click this purchase link, I'm going to copy the link address to my purchase link and go to an incognito window and see what it looks like. So currently I have the Lifter LMS Stripe gateway set up on my website. We can see process by Stripe and how I set this up. If I go back over to the back of my website here, I'll jump back and forth so we can see kind of what the settings look like for checkout. So Lifter LMS settings, checkout up here at the top, I can set up payment gateways. I've already installed the Lifter LMS Stripe add-on. You can find the Lifter LMS Stripe add-on on our store as an individual product or included in our Earth Bundle and other bundle offerings. So if I disable Stripe real quick, we'll uncheck that box and click Save Changes at the top. There's not currently a way for me to pay until I enable one of these payment gateways. I'll enable Stripe as an example, but we also offer PayPal, Authorize.net, or an integration with WooCommerce if you wanted to work with other payment gateways. The WooCommerce integration is an interesting one to explore. We have other video content about Lifter LMS and WooCommerce that goes in depth as to how that integration works. It's a little bit different than Lifter LMS Stripe, but here we'll take a look at Lifter LMS Stripe. So the first option, of course, is to enable the Stripe integration. And of course, we can see the title, uh, credit or debit card processed by Stripe. And if I reload over here, credit or debit card processed by Stripe, if you wanted to change the language around that, you could. And I'm in test mode, so I have test mode enabled. We can see over on the front end of my website, test mode means that I can process payments using this fake credit card number in order to just see what it looks like to go through the process of processing an order. But we'll uncheck that box and put in our live Stripe credentials when we're ready to go live. At stripe.com, you can create a free account and connect your bank account so that when people pay on your website, the money goes into your Stripe account and then eventually to your bank account and Stripe communicates with your website via these API keys. So in our documentation, we have a tutorial about how you can go into Stripe and exactly where you'll find these API keys. Just two keys on the back end, pretty easy to find. You just copy and paste them here, and then your website is now connected to your Stripe account. I'm going to make sure I enable test mode for the tutorial though. So I'm going to leave test mode enabled. And you can also have an option for saved cards. If you want people to be able to save their credit card information, if they're going to purchase multiple courses or memberships, they might want to save their credit card for future payments. So let's make sure all my settings are saved. And now if I want to process a payment for this sample course, I'll just type in will lifterelements.com. Set myself a password for my sample website. And this is just a test transaction. We want to make sure the Stripe gateway is working. So I'll, maybe I can't paste in my credit card. 424242. It's just four two, and then we'll set the expiration date in the future. And then this will be, there we go. So fill out the zip code and other information there. I'll click buy now. And there we go. So since my Stripe is in test mode, of course, I just put in the fake credit card, but that's what it would look like for a live user putting in their real credit card information and enrolling into a course with the Lifter LMS Stripe integration. And the only thing we would have to change is our API keys. PayPal works in a similar way and Authorize.net works in a similar way. The WooCommerce integration would be a little bit different, but that's an overview of how payment gateways work in Lifter LMS. They're super easy to set up, just like the Stripe example we have here. And we actually do have full tutorials about how to set up a Lifter LMS PayPal, Lifter LMS Stripe, and Authorize.net step-by-step. So be sure to check those out with which gateway you're interested in purchasing. And yeah, that's an overview of how to run payment gateways in Lifter LMS.